here's another cool thing you can do. So let's say we uh, we like this, but we want to go ahead and we remember if you have polyframe turned on, we have this very uh, Dynamesh resolution. If we go in here to geometry, Dynamesh, you see Dynamesh is turned on. So if I control drag in my in my view here, I can just re-Dynamesh my object and this is the resulting uh, mesh I have. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on X symmetry again. Just tap X. I'm sorry, I actually didn't say that earlier. Uh, activate symmetry under transform. Just tap X to turn X uh, symmetry off. So let's say we want to uh, clean up this geometry, but I still want my detail back. So another thing you can do is you can go down to the Z remesher. I'm going to turn the adaptive size down a little bit because I want my uh, I want kind of nice even quads. The higher this is, the more it's going to kind of build in edge changes, going to change my geometry a little bit. So I want a pretty nice even quads. So I'm going to keep this at a lower number. I have X symmetry turned on, so it's automatically going to be symmetrical. And for our target polygon count, I'll just go ahead and leave that at five, and I'll hit Z remesh. And there you go. We got some new geometry on here. If you want to make this even lower, you can say half and then zero mesh it again. Uh, if you don't like that algorithm, you can hold down Alt and hit zero mesh, and that'll give you a new algorithm down the midline. Whatever kind of works for you. Now, I want to project my detail back. In the old days, and I would say before ZBrush 2020, say ZBrush 2019, what you'd have to do is before you zero mesh, you'd have to go in a sub tool, you'd duplicate it off, you'd zero mesh it down, and then you'd use your project and project brushes. Uh, Subtool project and maybe project brushes to clean up. Now all you have to do is just go back through your history to where your details are. And you know, if we want to capture all that eye detail back, we can do that as well. We can hold down control and tap and then go all the way back to where you Z remeshed. And if you use your history recall brush now, I'm actually going to say uh, there's another method to do this, but uh, go ahead and turn off X so you can use your history recall brush. If you use it now, um, you'll see it'll start grabbing a little bit of that detail, but you don't really have enough resolution on your mesh to to do anything. So we hit control D a couple times and then go back in with your history recall brush. Uh, control D by the way is geometry subdivide so you just hit this divide button a couple times. Now you have enough resolution to go ahead and grab uh, that detail. If we undo that and now we're back we're just one subdivision level. You can also go up here to your sculptures pro and turn that on and then if you remember from my ZBrush 2018 what's new playlist you learned all about sculptures pro. So based on your brush size you can go through here and as you start sculpting it's going to automatically tessellate the geometry to give you more detail uh, where you need it. So you can just go out of uh, go out of polyframe mode. So again you can capture all that detail and if you want to capture even more detail, let's say the original mesh is even higher reg, just make your brush size smaller and it'll capture even more of that detail. Now let's say, you know what, I don't want to use a history recall brush and then have to mirror and weld it. I like this nice geometry, I want to UV it and I want to animate with it or whatever. So that's where I would go in here and I would use the history project uh, settings in subtool project. Uh, we still have in our history, we control taps all the detail and I just want to project that detail to this mesh. In fact, let's undo back to where we just had our zero mesh. There we go. So this is our brand new zero mesh. We have X symmetry turned on and we have in our history marked that detail area. So if I go over here to subtool project, you're going to see uh, we have project all, but it's grayed out because we don't have another subtool pro to project to. If we went over here to append and grabbed any other object, you would see now that we have two visible subtools, project all is going to be allowed to be used. Of course, we don't want to project this cylinder to our head, so we'll just go ahead and delete that. But we do have project history available to us. In fact, we also have geometry and color. If we had poly painted in our history, we could actually project that color, uh, but in this case, we're just going to be projecting geometry. So if we go over here to project history, it's going to look at the place we have marked and it's going to project details from our history. So if we hit control D, which is again going to subdivide our mesh, geometry divide, and then project history, it's just going to keep projecting back to what we have saved. Control D, project history. So again, it's looking at what we have in memory and then projecting that detail from that object to our current state, which is a zero meshed object. So now I have subdivision level history and detail projected back onto it.